What's up, fam? It's your girl, Crystal, a.k.a. Curly Chris. Uh-huh. It's me. And in today's video, I am showing you guys how to re-moisturize your natural hair because it's cold out here in these streets and we most definitely need to lock in that moisture. But before we go ahead and get into today's video, oh, what it do? Oh, what's up? Can I? Hey. So yes, that's what we're doing into today's video. I am gonna be re-moisturizing my hair with you guys because it looks kind of like, like it's, it, the definition is there, but back here kind of dry and it's kind of dry in some other areas and it's not as moisturized as I would like it to be. So I'm gonna take care of that in today's video. If you are new to this channel and you are not subscribed to my channel, welcome. And also, before you accept that welcome, are you subscribed? Because if you ain't subscribed, then there's one thing that you need to do. Smash the button down below. Smash the button down below, people, okay? Join the Curly Chris fam because I'm waiting. We're all waiting, okay? Go ahead, join the fam by smashing that button down below. Let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. <laughs> moisturizing this hair today I'm gonna first tell you guys what all is necessary and needed okay so first of course some water or moisturizer and that's going to be my Jamaican black castor oil um, water so that's what I'm using and then I'm going I ordered the um, Ajua beauty line well three three part three products from the line someone requested they want me to use this, these products on my hair so I'm gonna go ahead and share that today so I picked up some of these products recently and the three products that I got was the biomint leave-in conditioner the biomint leave-in conditioner conditioning styler I got this bad boy and then I got the biomint curl defining cream my brightness is probably too bright for you to see the cream and then I got the biomint um, oil blend so yes these are three products that I got my total for all three of these was $60 including shipping and tax so it's not cheap <laughs> I learned that real quick sis okay these products right here are not cheap I heard great things about them though so I went ahead and spent that coin <laughs> Woo! so I know some people whenever they re-moisturize their hair they like to just apply like a water and then go about their day or whatever um, and that's their re-moisturizing but for me my hair is too thick for that if I apply water it will turn into a frizz even if I apply just the JBCO water it will like turn into a frizz it won't become like re-moisturized um, especially now once I step outside I still have to do some type of routine to lock in and seal in that moisture before I go outside again so I'm gonna be doing a twist out on my hair I'm not washing my hair again that's the whole point of this re-moisturizing routine I'm not gonna wash my hair or deep condition my hair because my hair is not really dirty I'm just gonna go in with some more some new fresh product and some water and do a style on my hair so I'm going to work in sections as if I was doing a normal twist out however I will say if you do re-moisturize your hair and you're just you just like spray something on it like mix some product with some water spray that on your hair and go I will say that make sure that you are sealing your hair after you spray that product on it or whatever you're spraying and make sure that you're sealing your hair as well because that right there is what's going to lock in that moisture before you go outside the other thing that you need to make sure you have by your side is your detangling brush I have my um, Felicia Leatherwood brush and then my Pattern Beauty one. Nothing new. And then some clips, a microfiber towel, and I also have my scissors just in case I want to trim anything off. I'm going to be focusing on the remoisturizing steps in today's video and allow you guys to see the benefits of remoisturizing your hair. And then in the next video, I'm going to take the twist out um, and we're going to see the final results. 
from re-moisturizing our hair. So I'm going to go in and spray my JBCO water. I would preferably like to use a warm water um, with this. Use warm water, but I'm re-moisturizing, not restyling like from the from step one. So I'm not going to be applying that much water to make it soaking wet or anything. So that's why just using the JBCO water will suffice for this style. So if you have more tangles, do not be alarmed. That's expected because you're re-moisturizing your hair. You're not re-washing it so you have not deep conditioned and you have not detangled with that deep conditioner in either. So those tangles will most definitely still be in your hair, okay? But make sure to apply enough of the water to where it doesn't pull your hair out when you start to detangle it. So next we're going to go in with the leave-in conditioner. And this whole line smells like peppermint. And so this right here does have winter mint, spearmint, and baobab. And it says it's for dry textured hair. So that's exactly what we are working with today. So this is how much I'm using. It's kind of a bit much. I probably overdid it, but oh well. Most definitely am able to detangle. Like my hair is becoming detangled as I'm applying this product. So I am really liking that. So whenever I re-moisturize my hair, I like to start with the leave-in um, and then use the cream and the oil as if I was styling my hair regularly. Um, if you just want to go straight to like a cream because you feel like you already have enough product in your hair and you just want to wake that product up, then you can just apply that water and then go straight in with your cream. But I like extra moisture, so I'm going to use the leave-in. Ooh, girl, that beady bead is acting up back there. Ooh, girl. All right, so I'm just detangling until my hair is smooth. Not much hair came out at all. So now I'm going to go in with the cream. And y'all, it's very creamy. Like, it will slip out of here. Like... It's creamy. It's not like a butter. It's more of a cream. Like, yeah. Y'all know we like them consistencies right there, okay? So I'm going to apply a little bit of that right on that thing. And the cool thing with re-moisturizing your hair like this is that you can even wear your twist a few days and then take your twist out. So you can get like a whole nother week or so out of this, out of re-moisturizing your hair. So that means... You don't even have to wash your hair again, you know, for like another week. All right, look at this. Yeah, wow, that looks so good. Now I'm going to go in with my oil. Guys, this is one of the most important steps of re-moisturizing your hair, okay? Sealing your hair with an oil. Please, if you have lighter, like a looser texture than mine, choose a lighter oil. I like to go with heavier oils because my hair is pretty thick. But you must seal your hair with oil, okay, when you are re-moisturizing your hair. Because that's going to lock in that moisture that you just now applied. Alright, now I'm going to twist. And if you want to know um, the like importance of re-moisturizing your hair and sealing with an oil, then you can watch um, my video on how to maintain your hair during the winter. It's the video right before this one. I'll link it above and also in the description box below that is super important when it comes to the winter so y'all these products got my hair popping like okay Ajua beauty and if you have never supported Ajua beauty they're basically a um black owned woman woman black owned company and i don't know about classify as a small black owned business but um most definitely not like extremely huge or anything but they you most definitely should support this is my first time trying their products and so far my hair is loving them so yes i'm happy i purchased i'm gonna go ahead and trim these ends a little bit because sis i see some stuff i don't like there we go so this is how i'm re-moisturizing following these exact same steps and guys look at how tangled my hair is really really tangled like that's how I knew I needed to re-moisturize. And I'm showing this footage because everybody's hair is like this, okay? And nothing to be ashamed of if your hair is like this. Sis, this is day five hairs and it's in the cold. So this is expected for me. But I was not going another day with my hair being this tangled and dry. <laughs>
definitely suggest using a good detangling tool because your hair will have more tangles since you are re-moisturizing your hair. I went ahead and finished all of my twitches. Uh huh. Look at that. It look good. It look juicy. Baby, you look good. You look gorgeous. It looks so good. So this is really not focusing so much on how the twists look. However, it's more so on re-moisturizing the hair. So my hair is extremely moisturized. Let me just say that. These Ajua Beauty products, I feel like, are really going to seal in that moisture for me. Like, the oil is bomb. A bomb sealing for thick hair. The cream is amazing. Even though the bottle of the jar is pretty small, it is highly concentrated. You do not need a lot of it. The leave-in conditioner is also very thick and creamy. I feel like those three products right there, I'm so happy I purchased them because they really did a great job in re-moisturizing and sealing my hair for this cold weather. So um, what I would probably do is leave these twists in my hair for maybe like a day or so, let them dry, but while they are wet, I will not go outside with them being exposed like this. Instead, I will put on my Grace LAA cap. This is one of the sideline beanies that I have. So just to quickly show you guys what I will do, very simple. I'll just go ahead, tuck these in. Also, I slay my edges because we got to pop in somewhere, right? Okay. So this is what I go ahead and do. I put on this cap because y'all, it is satin line. My hair is protected and my hair is not being exposed to this harsh weather outside. And I go ahead and slay my edges as well, just so you know, spruce up the look a little bit. It is satin line, so there's no friction because that satin is just gently rubbing against my hair versus like if it was this fabric in the inside, that would be friction on my hair, which would dry it out. They even have like ones that are not the cloth in case you get hot fast. Um, and they use a satin line as well. But yeah, this is basically how I would like to, how I re-moisturize my hair, um, especially for the winter. These are the steps that I will take. Very simple. It's so important, so vital to re-moisturize your hair in the winter. Do not neglect those ends. Do not neglect if your hair is dry. Re-moisturize it because your hair will thank you in the end. I also gave myself a nice little snip snip around the edges or on the ends of my hair just to make sure there's no split ends, no single strand knots, none of that so my hair can flourish during this winter time. Okay sis, you guys know I do not re-moisturize during the summer because I like to just go ahead and wash or co-wash my hair but in the winter this is like a mid-week moisturizer, which I never do in the summer because my hair is usually fine. But since it is the winter, my hair got dry very quickly, okay? Um, so I went ahead and took care of that. So yes, sis, this is how I re-moisturize my hair. I'll get about five more days out of this hair. And thank you so much for supporting. In my next video, I will take these twists out just so we can see how these products work and also how my re-moisturizing technique works. But it most definitely works great for moisturizing this hair. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Drop me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. And I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Mwah.